Today, we're going to be talking about a musician, an entertainer, and well, quite frankly, a child predator. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Good. Why don't you have a seat right on that stool, please? Sure. No, right here, sir. No, no, I, I know. Please, right there. No, no, no. Not the one you're probably thinking about. Today, we're tackling a whole new challenger. Who is... Brittany Johnson, also known as Lovely Peaches. Now, here's what we know about her this far. You so bad, and baby, I want you so bad, yeah. The day, January 4th, the year 2001, Vanilla Ice, aka Robert Matthew Van Winkle, <laughs> yeah, that's his name, is spending the night in prison, and Michael Jordan is now the fourth player in NBA history to score 30,000 career points. And me, well, I'm still cooking in my mom's stomach, but Peaches, she just took her first little baby breath. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Now, her alleged birthday only puts her about three months my senior, but she's had a lot more life experience. I don't understand what I even did to you guys, but that shit was disgusting. That type of shit is not funny. That shit is this all really began around 2017 when she was only 16 years old. I mean, I don't know what everyone else was doing when they were 16. I, for example, was writing fan fiction about Levi and Irwin and cosplaying as Noise from Dramatical Murder, but Britney was already amassing a huge following on social media for, well, how do I put this? Eating her own excrement? Um, green poop definitely tastes the best. Um, it has way more seasoning. And no, it didn't stop there. In 2018, Britney gave birth to a baby named Cora Miracle. And in 2019, Peaches released a video claiming that she murdered Cora Miracle. Now, you can probably find some re-upload of the video, and quite frankly, it is the most disturbing 20 minutes I've ever experienced, and I've watched a Jake Paul vlog. But in spite of her murder confession, Cora Miracle is alive and well, and Peaches, in fact, does not have custody. Now, aside from eating her own waste and lying about murdering her baby, there's something else that's made this situation, in my opinion, 58 times worse. Now, earlier this year, Peaches did an Instagram Live with 17-year-old influencer, singer, social media star, whatever. Insert relevant title here. Malu. She did an Instagram live with Malu. Peaches claimed to have broken into Malu's house and stole her shirt. I get that you my fan at all, but don't come to my house. I don't know where to take a picture outside. That's not cool. Oh my god, your house is beautiful. Okay, but don't come to my house to take a picture outside my house if you don't know me. I love you. <laughs> After confronting her on Instagram Live, which, by the way, is probably the most hilarious way to confront somebody, Brittany Johnson does the unthinkable and flashes Malu, her bear, vagina. Now, the argument that currently stands is that she isn't serious, that Peaches is essentially a troll. However, Malu is 17, which makes what Peaches did to her a wee-woo-wee-woo wee -woo federal offense. And yet, she still has 1.4 million followers across her three Instagram accounts, as well as almost 80,000 subscribers on her YouTube channel. Which brings me to my next point. You so bad, and baby I want you so bad, yeah. Peaches has accrued a pretty wacky fan base over the past three years with fan accounts on Twitter and Instagram. Now. I've broken up these fans into two categories, the bystanders and the standers. Sorry. <laughs> the bystanders of what I think, at least hope, make up most of her following. People that are absolutely at a loss for words and follow her to keep up to date with the latest drama, wondering what good old Britney Peaches Johnson is gonna do next. She calls pedophilia sexuality and suggests that women are to blame for sexual assault. And that hasn't turned people away from her, despite being completely harmful and untrue statements. The Peaches stands. Oh boy, the stands. Now, 
they might be trolling too. I might be getting punked, but I think there are at least a few people that genuinely stand Britney. And the worst part is, these are the same people involved with cancel culture on Twitter. So, to those people, why isn't she canceled yet? I, I don't get it. I don't understand. Please explain it to me. Because, in my opinion, she's checked off all the boxes. You know, eating her own poop. Check. Flashing minors. Check. Dancing to the same song on TikTok. I mean, literally. I'm not advising you to look at her TikTok. But if you happen to come across it, on the unfortunate off chance, she dances to the exact same song in every single video. Who's entertained by this? So, here's the kicker. The piece de resistance. Peaches, in terms of Twitter cancel culture, should be canceled. If not for her rather unique food preferences or expressing her wishes to murder her child, then how about, you know, the illegal act of flashing a minor? She obviously has major issues, so why are people calling her queen in the comments? Why are there fan edits and accounts dedicated to someone who would do things like this? Why are they encouraging her behavior? Well, because it's the internet. And unfortunately, people are pretty sick. This isn't the first time where a person like this has been put up on a pedestal by a cult-like fan base, and it certainly won't be the last. I call it sick boy syndrome. Yeah, that, that's really what I called it. People will find someone so controversial and so deserving of punishment and jail time and put them in a separate category. Peaches is an icon. Peaches is so wild. Peaches makes them laugh and gasp and gives them free entertainment, no matter how vomit-inducing. And like baby birds, they lap up every second of her regurgitated worm food. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's gross, but no. <laughs> That's disgusting. Without enough people to speak up against her actions, she'll only get more and more popular, so we'll continue to see Peaches doing just Peaches things, and yeah, sorry to everyone's eyes. Wait, 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 before you go, I want to congratulate you for making it to the end of this video. What a feat, what an accomplishment, I am proud of you. If you like this video, I worked super hard on it, so if you could leave a like, a comment, or if you're feeling a little feisty, subscribe because this will not be the last you see of me, I promise. Hopefully. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye.